wave particle duality. So first of all, what does quantized mean? Quantized means something comes in individual packets. Um, so something that's quantized is M&Ms, okay? Um, an equivalent thing that's not quantized, chocolate syrup. Um, so the question is, could you have like one M&M? Yes, then it's quantized. Could you have one chocolate syrup? I mean, you could have a bottle of chocolate syrup, you could have a spoon of chocolate syrup, but you can't have one chocolate syrup. So that's not quantized. Um, Cheerios is quantized. You can count your number of Cheerios. Soup, you can't count your number of soup in a bowl. I mean, it's one bowl of soup, but you can't count the number of soup in the bowl. You could count the number of Cheerios in a bowl. So Cheerios are quantized, soup is not quantized. Rice, it take a long time to count your rice, but you could do it if you wanted to. Uh, mashed potatoes, you could not count it. So that's the difference between quantized and not quantized. All right, so Einstein comes along and says that light is quantized, that light is countable, that you can count the number of light. Light comes in individual particles called photons. A photon is the smallest particle of light. It's like an atom of light. And we also know that light is a wave. We just finished a unit on electromagnetic waves. Light is a wave. So is light a particle or is it a wave? The answer is it's both. Okay, uh, energy of a photon equation. There's two equations for energy of a photon. E photon equals HF, which we did in the electromagnetic waves unit, and E photon equals EI minus EF. Um, you do that using the energy levels that we talked about last time, okay? These are the two equations to get the energy of a photon. Okay, um, H is Planck's constant. It's given on the reference table. F is frequency, and EI minus EF is the difference in energy levels. We just subtract them. So if light can be a particle in a wave, what about matter? We know that matter is made of particles, atoms. You guys know all about atoms. Um, if light is both particles, photons, and a wave, does that mean matter can also be waves? And the answer is yes. Uh, Louis de Broglie discovered that matter acts like a wave also. So you can get waves from matter. This is known as wave-particle duality. Matter and light are both particles and waves. Okay, so we have like the, the ball there is particle nature and the wave nature. Um, evidence that something is a wave is it does stuff that waves do, like diffraction and interference, right? Those are things we learned about with the wave unit. Um, if, if something does something that we learned about in the waves unit, that's evidence that it's a wave. Um, evidence that something is a particle, it has momentum, and more importantly, it interacts with things one at a time. Um, you could, it'd be difficult, but you could count the number of photons that strike a surface. It's something that you could count. Um, so why don't we see matter waves every day? Um, the wave nature of matter is only observable at the very small scale, atoms and small. Wavelength of matter is very small, too small to observe. Okay, so it's not something that we observe every day. 